Alrighty guys, welcome to your 8th FL Studio tutorial and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to tweak the settings to achieve our own custom note, whatever sound we're going for. So the first thing I want to mention is, again, make sure you have your 3x oscillator open from the last tutorial and let's go ahead and go over these knobs right now because we already went over these buttons, basically the different buttons or the different shape of the sound waves makes a different sounding sound or different sounding note. So the first knob right here is this volume knob and of course we already learned that that turns the volume up for the different octaves. Now by default it doesn't have a volume button on oscillator one and that's because if we we don't need it. There's other way to adjust the sounds and this pretty much ensures that we at least have something you know coming from our note. We don't want to program a note that you can't even hear. So basically you only have volume on oscillator 2 and oscillator 3. So if you want to include different octaves, lower octaves, that is how you do that. So for example right now we have the note that sounds like this and if we want to include oscillator 2 just turn that up halfway oscillator 3 so as you can see our note is getting lower because we're adding lower octaves so let me just go ahead and add 50 percent oscillator 2 and I'll keep oscillator 3 down all the way I don't want my note that low now actually I'm gonna turn them all down and uh, it's gonna help me explain this tutorial a little bit more so the pan of course we can probably already guess what that does since it's at uh, 50 percent right now you're gonna hear it perfectly and maybe you're wearing headphones you're gonna hear it perfectly in both ears evenly if you have computer speakers then you're either gonna hear it on the left or right so and you can also have one pan in one direction and another pan in a different direction. So now oscillator one is panning to the right and oscillator two is panning to the left. Well I'll go ahead and set that back up to 50. Alright that looks pretty good. So now this is where we're back at. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys is about the CRS and fine. What this does is it actually changes the tone of your note. Both of these knobs pretty much change the tone of your note. Now the difference between these knobs is that this changes it in large increments and this fine fine tunes it. So let me go ahead and play this. I'm going to hold it, hold down the uh, less than key on my keyboard so the note continuously plays. Kind of sounds like aliens trying to dial earth. Aliens life form. Alright, so anyways, I'm having too much fun with that. So as you can see, the tone changes in large increments. Now, I'm going to do it with fine. So again, if you want the tone to change by a lot, then use the chorus. If you want to fine tune it, then go ahead and press the fine. So that's pretty much what everything does. Oscillator 1, 2, and 3. Um... Let's see what we didn't cover. We covered all these knobs and the different buttons, and I think we're good to go. Of course, there are some a lot more things up here, but um, either they're self-explanatory or I'll explain them whenever we get to that. But right now, let's go ahead and say that, all right. All right, my note is sounding exactly how I want it to. Actually, let me get a decent sounding note. Alright, so I like that note, so now I want to add it to my pattern. So let me play this pattern right now. We need a beat. We need a beat. Alright, so say that I want to play this right here, right here, right here, and like that. So now, dun dun, what's well, gonna say, like, dun 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 dun, or something like that. So let's go ahead and play it and listen to our awesome sound. We need a beat. We need a beat. What the heck? Something is messed up. So let me go ahead and solo this and check it out. Alright, definitely not the sound I was going for. Right now it just sounds like... 
and that like I said is not exactly what we wanted so in order to fix that what we can do is we can actually close this channel settings and we have to select this channel and you do that with the button on the right so select it and press the piano roll or, or excuse me the keyboard editor or man, I don't know this is the freaking button right here so what this does is it opens up pretty much your keyboard now remember the keyboard is basically the note of each little hit so right now since we have everything playing on this right here which is C5 or your middle C what it's gonna sound like is just someone hold pressing that button on the on the piano and holding it down like C C C C C but that's not what we want so let's go ahead and change this by changing this first one to we'll keep that at C and on the second one let's do something like this keep that one at C and let me just go alright so that's gonna sound decent I guess so now once we change the note itself or the tone it's gonna sound less um, monotonous and it's gonna sound like someone is actually playing the piano so let's go ahead and play this biatch and actually I want to change that right there So that sounds pretty good to me, or good enough. You know, it's just a freaking tutorial. I'm not trying to make a, you know, the world's greatest song here. But now, let's just go ahead and play this biatch. We need a beat. We need a beat. So again, it's probably not your favorite song, but that I just wanted to discuss because a lot of people, whenever they are working with three times oscillator and they try to add the notes like this, then it just sounds like eh, no matter how they got their note to sound. So again, if you bring up the keyboard editor, that is how you get different sounding notes with your own custom tone. So anyways. Thank you guys for watching. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this sound even better and also some other awesome tricks that are going to help your music production. So again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, yada yada, tomato, tomato. I'll see you.